the house. So I am standing in our empty house. Um, I'm going to do a quick little mini empty house tour for you all. Yeah, we're so excited. I mean, I don't get to live here for another like two weeks because I have to go home and pack our stuff. So it's gonna be empty for a little bit, but he gets to stay here. So you'll see where he's gonna be staying. So when you come in through the garage area, you have our laundry room and we do have to buy a washer and dryer, which I'm okay with because I'd rather buy our own. It's a pretty good size, so I'm happy about that. Then you come into the kitchen this way and you, we've got all the appliances. We've got stainless steel. We have this little island right here, which I really like. It'll be good to like prepare food on and then you have the dining room area it's actually pretty big i got for some reason i thought it was a lot smaller than it was but we can definitely fit like a six seat dining table in there and then right here you have the little entryway for the front door we definitely have to paint a little bit the previous tenants didn't really spec all our paint but there is some paint in the garage so we don't have to like go buy any or anything and then this is the living room, which is where Mason is staying until we get all of our furniture in because the military will pack us for free. But the downside to that is it takes a couple weeks. So he's going to be sleeping on an air mattress and he's got a little bit of stuff here. But this is where our couch is going to go. We have a sectional couch, so it's going to go like this. And then we're going to have our TV over here, which is the plan, I believe. And then walking into... The master, this is just a little storage closet where I'm probably gonna put like our winter coats and everything. And then this is the master. I'm not too crazy about the color, but you know, we'll deal with it. And then I have to finish all that speckle and paint over top of that again. I might see if we can paint this room, but we'll see. But I love the crown molding and it's got like tray lights and everything, which is awesome. And then the master bathroom is in here. We've got a double vanity sink, which is awesome because we always fight over like when we're brushing our teeth and everything and it's got plenty of storage in here. And then this is the best part. We have a giant walk-in closet. You can see it's very big. And then we've got a little bit of extra storage here for his shoes. I said, you can have that because all my shoes won't fit. So I have to get my own. And then we have the shower. The master doesn't come with a bathtub, which is, I mean, that's fine with me, but this is a really nice shower. And then there's just some more storage over here for like linens and stuff. I already bought like towels and everything for the bathrooms and everything. And then on the other side of the house, we have two spare bedrooms. This is the first one, which I think is where the office and the filming space is gonna be maybe. Um, I haven't decided if I went there or in the other room. And then we do have two more linen closets, which is awesome. One for like cleaning stuff and then one for actually linens. And then this is the spare bathroom or the guest bathroom. It's probably gonna be the main one that we use because there's only two bathrooms, so hey. And then this one does come with a tub so I can take my baths with my Lush bath bombs like every other white girl on the planet. And then we have the other bedroom, which I think this is going to be the guest bedroom uh, with the spare bed and like my other dressers and stuff. Those got to go. That's disgusting. Go away. And then this one comes with a bigger closet, which is why I think I'm going to take the other room because it has a really small closet. So yeah, it's a pretty good size. We are super excited. I'm going to go back into the kitchen real quick and show you like the cabinets and stuff. Super cute, all stainless steel, I love it. We have plenty of storage in the cabinet areas and everything, that's also gotta go, that's, no, no. Gotta take that down. And then the island also has storage, which I think is where we're gonna put like our pots and pans and stuff. And then we also have a pantry, which we've got a couple things in there for him since he's gonna be here all by his lonesome with no furniture. So that is our new home for Mason likes to say the foreseeable future, but I'm actually heading home. So I should go pack all of our stuff and get it ready for the movers. And then I'll be back here probably next week. Oh, we also have a back patio area too, which is super cute. Back there, 
I'll be spending lots of time back there in the summer. It's freezing here right now. It's pretty cold. So yeah, hope you all enjoy this little empty house tour. It's really quick and easy. That was that was a really fast video. <laughs> but I mean, it's not a huge house, but it's perfect for us. I, we love it. This was the best one that we saw and we are so, so excited. Yeah, we got it. Yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this vlog and I can't wait to get this place decorated, which I hate using the word decorated. I'm not a decorator, but you decorate things. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm super excited to get everything in here and get everything ready and get it all put together. We're so excited. So yeah, thank you all for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>